that's all. This is the main part. It's just the trigger mechanism that doesn't do much. Then we have this part that attaches on hinges. And then the stock. And this is the full package. Now you might notice the barrel can go down like that. That's because of the hinges. That is because this is a barrel breaking shotgun and it is the first I have ever made. I'm gonna go over it and stuff. So it's basically just, there's this blue piece and then um, you can just flip it off and then break the barrel, but then not break, break the barrel, but you know what I mean. And then you can just flip it back on. The barrel in here, it's uh, actually very complicated to places in here. And then there's a priming handle at the bottom. What happens is when you open, like when you break the barrel, the shell, the empty shells are in, you just prime it and it ejects the shells, but it still gives room for these to fire, which is pretty neat. The stock is not, is not only just for like aesthetically pleasing stuff, but it can also hold like six other shells and I have eight shells, so. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you how to use it. Load a projectile into a shell. This is um, one you have seen before in many of my videos, but it has a little piece on the, like a little piece on the bottom here. That was um, put on there just because of the mechanism in the barrel. They should both be facing like a mirror image. You just slide them in and uh, the projectile should be close together, not far apart like this. So then if they're far apart, you just need to switch the projectiles around. So it looks like this and then close the barrel like this and then flip the, flip the catch. And now we can fire both of them at once. So that is, that's pretty powerful for the projectile launchers. And then break the barrel, get the catch out of the way. And now pump it and eject the shells. This thing is so fun. It took me a long time to make many mistakes but I finally got here and it was definitely worth it. Let's see like how fast I can operate this. So I got two projectiles, two shells, three, two, well, I can't time myself right now. My Fitbit, I think it's dead, but three, two, I don't know how to count. Three, two, one, go, okay. Oh, the barrel's already broke. Yeah, the stock doesn't fit in there nicely, but it's not going to break, so. I don't know how long that was, but I bet I could do better because the stock came out and it kind of distracted me. And then I had to talk about it. Well, I didn't have to. I'm just going to demonstrate how the stock holds these projectiles, projectile shells, so. Pop that in there, hand that in there, and you can just do that and it fits them snug as a bug in a rug. So you can see it holds, it's holding two right now, but it can hold a lot more. Just to be clear, inside the barrel, on the outside part, the priming handle is like connected to the pieces that push out the shells when you when they are empty. And when you close the barrel, um, the projectiles are like sticking out, so that um, that makes it easy for the trigger to just push it down on them. There is a rubber band in the back. So yeah, pretty complicated stuff, and it's really fun to use. It's fun to look on the barrel of all my projects. I don't know why. 
I think it's cool. That is this new project.